Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the attribute error. Module object has no attribute in Django. We are going to see an example how it error occurs and how we solve it. So let's proceed and learn with the help of example. So for example, here I have created a project with the name attribute error project. So for creating this pro project, I use the Django hyphen admin start project and I specify the project name as a attribute error project. After that, I move to the directory of this attribute error project and in between I have create a app with the name my app and for creating an app I use the command python manage.py start app. Now our next step is to the install the, the app that you have created in the settings.py file which is located in the project directory. So I open my project directory here I have a settings.py file I open it and in here we have a installed underscore app list. And in this list, I have specified the app name as a my app. After that, we have to specify the urls.py file in the project directory. So here I open my file that is urls.py and here I specify the path of the app that I have created. So here I include the path of my app.urls. So it means it will redirect to the my app folder or a directory and in between it will search for the urls.py file. So by default there is no file with the name urls.py so I have created first. So here we have to specify the url. So here I have created up the file with the name my app import views that uh, here I am importing the views and here I specify the path of the view that I am going to create. So here I specify the view is named as index uh, here and the name is home. Okay. So it means I have to create a view in the views.py file in the next step with the name index. So here I open my views.py file now and here I have a created up a file that uh, include the code of the HP, HTTP response welcome to the Python guides. So here you can see that here I define a function with the name home. So after doing all such things, it's time to execute this code. So I open my command prompt and here I simply type the command python manage.py run server and hit enter. So here you can see that I get an error because I have by mistakenly entered the python word incorrect. So you have to take care of the spelling. So here I again enter the code and hit enter. So it takes some, some time to execute. So just wait. So here you can see that it shows me an error attribute error module. My app dot views has no attribute with the name index. So here I get an error. So now why I get this error if I write the code correctly. So it means I have something incorrect in my code. So with this we know about that. Uh, I have specified the incorrect name of the view. So it means it is not able to get the my app dot views as a index in a path uh, view in the path of URL as dot py file. So this error was uh, occurring. So to resolve this error, now I have to open my code and match the views.py file with the urls.py file that is located in the app directory. So here you can see that in views.py file, I define the uh, name of a function as a home, but when I call it is in a urls.py file, I call it as an index. So that's why it is not uh, getting an index name in a my apps dot views so it is saying that in my app dot views there is no attribute of index it means in this view file there is no index function so either you have to change this function with the name of index or you have to change the url to the home so basically i have incorrectly defined the name of the url so i change this index to a home and now I save my code and again try to execute it. So I 
so here you can see that the server start executing so here i copy my url so now let's try what the solution is so here you can see that when i open it in a google chrome browser it will show us me the output welcome to the python guides so with this we have learned how to resolve the error attribute error module object has no attribute in django so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day